Surfing in the 1950s was not for the faint of heart. Mm. The boards were big and heavy, and it was considered a macho sport. But for one woman who had just moved to Hawaii with her family, it seemed to be the perfect way to connect with Mother Nature. In a new book, Wave Woman, her daughter shares the adventures with Sean Stiles. Wave Woman is a book about Betty Heldrick, a surfing pioneer, no, a surfing frontiers woman, written by her daughter. But to say she was just a surfer is an understatement. Surfing is the most amazing sport because it builds physical strength, which I think leads to an inner strength. And for Vicki Durant's mother, Betty Heldrick, it opened an incredible world from a visit to Hawaii. We took a canoe lesson and then, you know, there's surfers on each side of the canoes at Waikiki. And she said, I want a surfing lesson. So at the age of 41, Betty took up surfing and it didn't take long for her to become enlightened. So Charlie Amalu, the old uh, beach boy, took us out and just a couple of waves and she that she just fell in love with surfing. She asked her daughters if they'd like to move to Hawaii. And of course they said yes, that was 1954. She surfed every day, every morning. She would uh, wake up and go surfing at Waikiki. Betty was quickly lured to the waves and beauty of Makaha. In the high performance waves of Makaha, she honed her skills and two years later, it was the site of the first international contest. Being very competitive, she entered the paddling and she won that. And then the, the surfing, she took second place. The following year, the contest was in Peru. They went there in 1957 and that's where mother won. She beat Ethel finally and came home with the big silver cup and many per, and a special love for Peruvians. It was Vicky's turn next. She won, which got them invited back to Peru. Our job was to make it look fun and feminine and something that they would all want to do. Betty returned to Hawaii to raise her family, but never stopped exploring, becoming a fisherwoman, potter, carpenter, boat builder, poet, and so much more, always looking for a challenge. I asked Vicki, what would her mother think of women surfing today? That it's never too late to, to follow a dream. And also that you can um, believe in yourself and do what you want to do. So in the book, Wave Woman, you can see Betty did an amazing array of things throughout her life. But I got to tell you, if you're going to pick this book up, call ahead, because I only found one copy here in La Jolla. We'll send it back to you in the studio.